Hi, Jen and Casey here. Today, uh, for our Fusion Online video, we're talking about body braille mm -hmm. and swan on the mat. So, when you're looking at your client on the mat, what parts do you really want to focus in on and how do you hone your eye to see what your client really needs? All right, so Case, let's go on to the belly. Notice we have a little pad here for the front of the pelvis. A lot of people um, feel very tender on their hip bones and their pubic bone in um, prone exercises like this. So having a little bit of extra padding is really nice. So typically what we see in SWAN is lots of compression in the lumbar spine. We don't see equal extension in the whole spine. And we also typically see not enough um, expansion of the heart forward. So let's look at Casey. Of course, Casey has a really smart body. So um, let's look at her swan. So first, let's just do a little cobra to warm you up, Case. Okay. So her hands are rooted into the mat. She's anchoring especially into her thumb and first finger. Now, as she comes up, I want her to imagine that she's pulling the mat back to her hip, right? So her hands, arms, triceps are really working here so she can really expand the heart forward. And then on the exhale, slowly coming back down. So this is a really good way to prepare your clients for the bigger swan because what I'm wanting to see with Casey is work in the upper back and I don't want to see all the extension coming from here. So on your next inhale, again, I want her to pull the mat back with her elbows, right? I'd like for her to bring the shoulders a little bit more into the spine, keeping the collarbone wide. And then on the exhale, slowly back down. Good. Now from here, I want her to keep that same work in her upper back as she extends her arms. So on her next inhale, the elbows pulling back. So feel like you're dragging the mat back to your hips, expanding the heart forward. Good. Now hold here. Take a deep inhale. Exhale and more belly to the spine. Feel like you're dropping your tail between the legs. And then on your next exhale, slowly coming back down, deepening the belly. Feel yourself reach back through the legs and forward through the sternum. Good. And rest. Just fold your hands and rest your forehead on your hands. Good. So swan is a very, very difficult exercise. And especially if someone's not quite warm yet to come into that straight arm position and it's very very typical to see that loading and that crunching right in the lumbar spine so here's some tools that can help us um, help our clients find a better swan so first of all i'm going to give casey um, a little blanket under her pelvis so i'm going to lift her up even more and this is going to help her to um, lengthen her lumbar spine. And then I'm going to give Case this ball so you can place it like right between the breast. Casey doesn't necessarily need um, this version because she was getting some good extension in her upper back, but if you, a lot of your clients won't understand how to expand their heart forward. So having this little Mikasa ball under the, the breastbone that they can go down and forward into helps them find that upper back connection. So a little bit of a cobra now. So on her inhale, her hands are going to reach back and then her heart's going to pull forward into that Mikasa ball. And then on the exhale, slowly coming back down. Good. And when you see that upper back start to work, then automatically the lumbar spine it's, it's a, it has a sigh of relief and it finally unravels. And again, going forward into that ball, reaching into the ball, expanding the heart, and then exhale and slowly down. Good. Nice. All right, let's take that out. So that's one tool that you can use, which is really nice. And then we have our trusty foam roller which is really nice to do for our mini swan. Good, and you can see how Casey is putting her pinky side um, of the hand arm onto the foam roller. We have the elevated pelvis, 
And from here, shoulders down into the back pockets. And on her inhale, she's going to drag the foam roller back to her, bringing the eyes and the chest forward. And look, she's able to come into that nice high swan. And then on the exhale, deepening the belly, feeling like she has a little campfire under her belly button here, lengthening the sacrum down, gently coming down. That was nice. So this is a really valuable tool. Mm -hmm. Good. And come on off and sit back into child's pose. Did that foam roller, the foam that did the roller. trick, huh? Absolutely. Yeah, so you really saw that full swan position, really nice and easy and fluid in Casey's body when she was able to use this foam roller because it gave her a little bit of height and also that fluid rolling motion talked to the motion of the spine. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. Bye.